What's up you guys, American? welcome back to my channel. No, you grow up. So today's video is gonna be very similar to one I've done in the past. Last fall, I put out a video on rarity versus scarcity, and this video is gonna hit on a lot of the same notes because I've been collecting long enough now to where I'm starting to see a ton of cycles kind of repeat themselves. The way people are acting about the Mirage Turtles hitting is very similar to the way they were acting last fall when the Secret of the Use Turtles came out. Everyone was going nuts, everybody was going ape shit, and in that video I made a prediction saying that everybody needs to chill out because these figures are going to be readily available, be patient, they're going to come around. Things have changed a lot in the last couple years as far as collecting goes, and I feel like people are still kind of stuck in that COVID era of collecting. Things are becoming much more easily available. Things are being made in bigger numbers than they've ever been made before. So I'm back here with another bold prediction and I'm gonna say that this Mirage line is going to be the easiest set of turtles to get so far. So the Mirage line is not exclusive to anybody. Yes, we just saw Best Buy get some exclusives, but they're done in the color classics colors. Auto T had the black and white ones, and they did have the blue Renette, which is kind of bullshit. That one should have been in the main release, and then the red one should have been that release. You can pretty much get all the regular release Mirage figures on Big Bad Toy Store right now. Even Walmart's website still has a ton of them too. Don't sweat it if you do not find this Turtles pack in this first go. By the sounds of it, they're not putting out a ton, and by the looks of everybody in the Facebook groups, everybody's scooping up two, which if you're getting two, one to keep in package, one to open, I can understand that. But I have a feeling a lot of people are getting these because they think they're going to be rare or valuable down the road, and I definitely don't think that's going to be the case. I think four or five months from now, these are going to be sitting on Big Bad Toy Store and available all day. So I'm going to say this to you guys again. Do not sell any expensive or actually rare sets. Do not trade any rare sets for this set. It is a terrible idea. You need to play the long game with these releases. I know people love being the first to get something, and honestly, I don't really get that. As long as I get it in the end, I don't really care. Two months from now, you're not really gonna give a shit that you got these early either. Everyone's always very caught up in the hot thing, but in case you guys haven't noticed, the hot thing changes very quickly in collecting. One week we're talking about this, the next week we're talking about that, and a few weeks later, you forgot what you were talking about a couple weeks ago. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and downplay these figures like they're trash or anything like that, because they're not. I am very excited to get this set. But again, I can have patience. I'm not going to waste my gas going to the store every single day, wasting my time every single day. Because I guarantee you, there's a lot of people that if they added up all the money they spent on gas, they could have bought these from a scalper. But if you're patient on these, you're going to be able to get these at retail price very easily somewhere. I think a lot of people that bought those second sets for a friend will probably be returning one of them here soon. So I don't know why everybody always freaks out when they see these scalper prices. They will not last, they will not be there long. Because like I said, in a few months, you are just going to be able to go on Big Bad Toy Store and buy the set whenever the hell you want it. Now I know there are lines like the Toon line where things do come and go. That being said, Target's website is full of Toon figures right now. The only sets that have never been re-released up to this point is the Casey and April Foot Soldier sets, and guess what? They just re-released that Casey set. And that's why investing in modern figures is kind of a bad idea. You're always just one re-release away from your figures being worthless. That's why a ton of the people that have the 2008 Mirage Turtles are crossing their fingers that they don't get re-released because they do enjoy the fact that they have that exclusive set. They have these very rare figures that other people don't have. And while I don't typically have a mentality like that, I can understand why people enjoy that part of collecting. Don't worry about the monetary value in these things. Collect the things you like, collect the things that make you happy because you love them, not because you're worried about what they're gonna be worth down the road. And be patient. That is seriously just the best tip I can give any collector. Things will get re-released. You will be able to find things. Don't stress. Don't waste tons of money on gas hunting these things down that you might not even find. And for me, it's honestly not even the gas money. It's my time that I don't want to waste at this point. The time I have from when I get out of work to when I go to bed is very valuable to me. I got to the point a long time ago where I stopped going on regular toy hunts, and if I can find something online, I'm just going to get it that way because, again, I can't get back that time that I wasted searching for figures that I never found, and it really makes me mad. Again, at one time, it was part of the cycle, it was part of the addiction for me, but I just don't feel that way anymore. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think these figures are going to be very readily available? Because I definitely do. And the more patient you are, the better of a time you're going to have. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for liking, commenting on my videos. That's all I got for you guys in this one, so take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.